What's up my fellow JavaScript developers who will only use JavaScript to build everything and are too stubborn to learn something else. It's your boy Michael and in this video I'm going to show you how I built image generation using Vercel AI SDK, FAL with Stable Diffusion and Next.js to have that all together. So let me give you a quick demo. I'm just going to type in the chat, generate a blog image and I'm going to say uh, handsome, tall, black man, at least... 6.5, who is a Next.js developer. Sounds quite familiar, but so I type that in, a little loading skeleton pops up, and then we're going to see the image pull up in, okay. Not the person I was trying to generate, but it's all good. Anyway, I did this very, very easily using two things. A, using Vercel AI SDK, specifically their tool calling uh, feature and I used, oops, okay, that was cool. Then I, and I used Foul, um, which from my understanding they have uh, a gallery of models that you can use simply by calling their API. So in order to use stable diffusion, all I had to do was just copy this code. It was that simple. But I'm going to show you the code and how I have it set up. Let's get into it. So all the code for this is in the GitHub repo for my project Zahafi. The link will be in the description down below. I'm going to start um, in the route uh, in the API slash chat file where all the AI stuff happens. Now, under stream text, you see this uh, you see this tools right here and I have various tools like create site, read sites, update site name, update subdomain. And where all this image generation happens is where generate blog image is. So I call the tool generally generate blog image. The description is it generates a blog image. And the only par parameter I pass is a prompt, basically a description of the blog image the user wants generated. And then I call execute which calls this function generate blog image and I pass the prompt that I get from the user in the chat and then I return generate. So let me show you this generate blog image function. It is literally the same code from foul. So they make it super simple. Anything image generated generation wise, I would highly recommend you use them because all I did was literally copy this code, paste it here. Um, I passed in the prompt. Right. And then I also pass the image size like I want it to be landscape since these are for blog uh, blog uh, articles. And I call this function. This function then returns generate. And then what I do is I have in my unfinished callback, basically uh, when the generation is done, what do you want to happen? And I have this for loop where I loop through all the tool results, essentially the results from any tool calls. And you see in this else if. If the tool name is generate underscore blog underscore image, I await store message, which basically stores this message in my database so I can have the history. And the reason why I do this is if I go back to the chatbot and I hit refresh, the brother's still there, right? Because I am tracking the uh, chat history. And on the chat side of things, I have um, like on the client component, I have this switch statement and all you have to look is at this case. So when it's generate blog image, when that tool has been fired, all I do literally is just render um, the image tag from Next.js. And until uh, the URL is fully loaded, I just have a skeleton uh, showing just so it looks nice and it doesn't look weird. And for the history side of things, this is where um, the tool invocation uh, is rendered, but you have to understand this is rendered right after you prompted and you get your result. What happens when you refresh? When you refresh, that information is not stored here. It's stored in my database, right? And once someone has refreshed, this is what's going to fire. Uh, this is what's going to show. And here I just have simple conditionals here. You could see if the type is tool result read site, tool result blog, generate blog image, that's the one. And all I do again is I just render the image. Very simple. Now, I know this project code looks a lot, but just to implement this specific feature, it did not take a lot of uh, code. All I need is Vercel AI SDK, um, stable diffusion from foul, or I could even use a different model. Um, I could use V3, Excel, 
uh, Laura's like there's a lot of models that they have in terms of content in general like they have image to image text to image text to video image to video speech to text video to video and all a bunch of stuff make sure to check it out but that's pretty much it I hope you enjoyed this short and sweet video uh, make sure to check out again the code uh, the github repo will be in the description it's called Tzahafi, which means writer in Amharic um, hit it a star let's hit 10,000 stars by next week but I appreciate you all watching this video thank you so much I'll see you in the next one peace